everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. I have spent over an hour here trying to see if I could get a Wither Skeleton spawn. I think I found one finally. Oh, gas. I've been dealing with gas like you wouldn't believe. So we need to try and capture this guy without getting withered. So I'm using the soul vial just like I had before. Got him. Well, he withered me anyways. But we got him. Skeleton. I hope that works. Hmm. Because the goal is to combine it and hopefully we don't get a... Uh... Well, let's see. Okay, it works here. Definitely works here. <laughs> I have been withered. Uh, no. Where is it? Oh, God. Remember what I said about, uh, gas? This area here, this big, wide-open cavern, is perfect for spawning ghasts. And there's been a lot of them. So I need to head back home, which should be that way. And then we can set things up, hopefully. Except I don't have enough experience anymore. Darn it. Well, I'll have to kill some things. I can always do that. Or we need to set up an XP farm quickly. Hmm. Just trying to decide what's the best way to go. Maybe down. Maybe up there. I don't know. I'll see you guys back home, though. Aha! Uh -huh. I found some. I figured I'd jump into the caves here. I wanted to find some experienced berry bushes. Because we need to be able to make uh, an experience farm. Now, how many of these do I get? Six of them. Not bad. I think six will do just fine. I think we've got a blizz or something nearby. I don't know if there's any other... Ooh. I will take you. Uh, this is a ravine. I didn't see any creeper. Was that a mini creeper? A little guy? Might have been. Yeah, I think I hear a blizz around me somewhere. I gotta find my way back out of here. Don't recall exactly where I am. I've just been running around like crazy. Ooh. Lapis. Pretty lapis. I don't think I'm in the right spot. Hmm. <gasps> More. More. Well, I wanted nine. I've got ten. Perfect. Well, then I got just enough. That's a creeper. I'm in brand new cave. I can't see a thing. I don't know where I am. Well, I guess I gotta run around until I find some light. Here's some more light. Oop. Ow. Well, one way or another, I'll make my way out of here. But we're gonna set up an experience farm because I need one bad. Um, something I need to automate. Okay, here we go. This is headed back up. Uh, where's my dirt path? There it is. Okay, I know where I am now. So I will meet you guys. Topside. Alright guys, so all I'm doing right now is teaching it the system how to make... Oh. Autonomous activators. 
Uh, that's what I'm looking at having them make right now. So I'll put them in there. So I should be able to have them craft this now. Oh, I need one piston crafted. Because I found out you have to have it in your system uh, in order for it to work. So we'll grab our one piston. Here it is. And now we can encode it. Perfect. So now, I'm actually going to have them craft up 10 of them. We don't have enough planks. Do I not have a crafting recipe for wood? I do not. Okay. Um, well, we should probably take care of that. Spruce wood into planks. That's one of the first ones I usually do. I can't believe I didn't uh, didn't do that one. Okay, so now I should be able to request. Oops. Uh, ten of these guys. Perfect. Ooh, crafting. I don't know if I'm utilizing just one or how it all works, but I think I'm just utilizing one of them. Now it's making pistons. So I'm actually going to move this bed for now. Because I want to make the uh, the farm in that corner there. I thought that would be a good spot for it. So I'm actually going to take out the floor here. From the looks of it, we are safe from falling downstairs, which is always a good thing. Um, I know I've got some ores and stuff on me i got to get rid of at some point. Some gold and iron. Should have... There we go. Ten autonomous activators. No. I think you're supposed to use a wrench, but... I want them all facing... Oop. Straight up and down, like so. Perfect. And yes, I have one extra. It's not really extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these guys on top of it. Like so. Okay. So that should be everything we need to do for that. Um, other than the fact that I'm going to need to put in a vacuum hopper somewhere. I think I'm going to put it, yeah, yeah, I know. I think we're going to stick a vacuum hopper right here, going down. So it should be just a regular hopper, 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 hopper. Let's do it down here. Hopper this guy. I don't have a chest. Okay, tell you what. Craft me a chest. Thank you. And then we need a vacuum hopper. Uh, except we're gonna need one of these guys. Oh, I don't... Um... I apparently do not have ender pearls, nor do I have blaze powder. Do I have any gas tears? Oh yeah, I do. You go in there. So disorganized. It's actually a good thing that I don't have my Batania set up yet moved, because uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to probably have a mana pool sitting in the shop here, um, with the. The alchemy thing because uh, that's the only way I'm going to be able to, to cross these things over or I just need my enderman farm okay now I can make it right 
Yes. Perfect. So I'm actually going to want it to be about that high, I think. Like so. So we're just going to need some some item ducts, I believe. I might want to glass it in, though. This is why I still have that quite clear glass there. Ow, ow. Okay, um, let's go over the top here. And I want it to be, to be that high right there. That should work. What this does is it stops me from uh, from stealing them. The vacuum hopper should be able to grab it at any point uh, that it's broken. Hmm. Because we're gonna kill the wither today, let me gather the rest of the stuff I need here and I'll finish it up um, with you guys once I get the other items so that I'm not wasting too much time here crafting stuff with you guys All right, I think we've got everything situated now at least I hope so So I'm bringing power over here We're gonna need to power all of these guys And their only job is to basically right click the bushes up there. They should start working here. Right click and what it'll do is it'll pick them when they grow up. So what we want to do then is we want to do this. We want the items to go down. Yep, like that. Uh, I thought that always worked. Oh, the item hopper just grabbed it. There we go. No, 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 I want, there we go. That's all I wanted to do was come down here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to situate another autonomous activator like this. Okay, so this is powered as well. And I want his input um, on the top like that. Okay still going to be right clicking okay so then we want to situate uh, we can do this in marble oops a sewer right here okay now I think the way this works I should only have to put something there it should still work And then we just want the tanks to sit right here. Now that should, in theory, work. Now I'll pipe those up at a later date here. We need these guys to grow. So I should have my watering can either in here. Nope, it's in my bag. Watering can, watering can. I had one. Am I blind?
Oh, wait a second. Okay. Um. Oop. Water. I am not seeing it. I'm not sure I have it anymore. Where would I have put it? Interesting. Well, let's make a new one quick. Oh, I am an ironing it short. Oh boy. Ah, we gotta reset the iron ore. Might as well do the gold while we're at it. All I need is one iron ingot. Well, I get four. This is why I need a quarry. Oh, wrong one. Because I'm so short on supplies. Now I just have to right click. Can I do this? No. It has to be a water source block. There we go. Now I'm going to take my magnet off for now because I'm going to open this up. I don't want myself to be stealing everything. Okay. So let's try and get these guys to grow. Come on, you know you want to. Okay, see, I did not want to get that. Okay, should have grabbed it. I just want to make sure it's working. I know what it is. Ender IO. Of course. This guy right here. I bet you there's something in here. Yep. This guy? No. The. Guess you grab that. Yep. And you grab that one. Okay, so this. Really? You're not going to let me click that, are you? There we go. Uh, it needs to be in extract mode, active without. So this should now... It's not outputting. Oh, because it doesn't have a place to go. Does that work? There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to replace these for now. Okay. Something didn't look right, and it makes sense now. So now this system should, in theory, there we go. Perfect. We've got essence. That's step one. So let's try and get these guys to grow. Now I gotta set up for step two, so we got this part working. So let me grab the stuff for step two. All right, so I'm gonna utilize um, these tanks from Open Blocks. Remember we used them before. This one I stepped on a little bit. I have an XP drain just like we had before, and it's also gonna be this guy right here. So I do want this one to be in extract mode. And this guy I want to be in insert mode, like so, but 
Um, I guess I can't channel it necessarily. But this guy's going to have to go. Actually, I'm going to have to. I have to set up. I think I have to set this up differently. Just for now, we're going to do it this way. So I want that to be kind of like our overflow here. And I don't want that connection. Like so, and then I should be able to do this. And that tank will fill. Or at least it should. No? Did it not? Oh, it's doing it as essence. Okay, I got this set up wrong. I have it set up very wrong. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let me, I, I think I know what I did wrong. Let me, let me change this and set this up a little bit differently. All right, guys, I really, <laughs> I really should know better. That was a big derp on my part. <laughs> um, so, the reason I was thinking um, I knew how it worked, let's see, how do I clear this guy out? I have essence. Oh, I know how. I know where to put essence. Haha. -ha. Uh, one more. Yeah, this guy's got essence in it. Um, I was helping someone on Stormcloud with this setup, but we were trying to get this uh, this essence here, okay? Because you use the essence for um, for running the machines. So I have the spawner up there to do that, so I don't need uh, to worry about that. I want XP, uh, which is what I'm going for here. So now this guy should be there in insert mode. This guy should be in extract mode. Um, I shut this off for now. Should be able to just use a vacuum hopper with the XP setting like this. Okay. So now what I want to do with this guy right here, I'm going to do it by coming through right through here. Um, is I want the ability to to drop off XP if I so choose to. And I want it to go into the main system here. And I want to see, I think I can do this. Insert mode. And that guy should be in, yeah, extract. So if this works, I should be able to step onto this drain right here. Yep, you see it it passed through. So it went into the main system or the main storage and then it went over here, okay? So this way how I have it set up. This drain right here, I can drain levels if I don't want them. And then if I need levels, I just come over here and grab them. Cool, right? And this thing will keep running now. At least it should. So I think we should be okay now. Hopefully, I don't think I have enough XP for this yet. 
But what I can do here, okay, I have a broken spawner. I know it's a blaze spawner, but I grabbed a couple more while I was at the nether fortress. So I have one save to go into a powered spawner still. We need to put, oh no, wait, no, 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 no. We need to, uh, we need to do some soul binding. Yeah, see, now I'm short. I'm going to need 30 levels to get this done. And this is going to take a while. So, you guys. Oh. You guys need to grow. Grow. I'm gonna, I know I'm going to grab them, but, you know, there's nothing I can do at the moment. I need XP. I need it now. I'd like to get some of these other guys to grow. There we go. That one grew. So now if I throw these in here. Yep, see? We're gaining XP. Beautiful. Now I got 30 levels. Easy peasy. Oh, I guess I'm waiting. So yeah, all I have to do is I have to combine that with here. We'll put it up there, and then we're going to see if we can spawn in some wither skeletons. Alright, so the moment of truth. There's a very good chance that this is not going to work. Just going to warn you guys. What color is it? I'm not sure, but uh, we need to active with signal. I think it's, no, it's not that one. Not that one. Must be the last one. I have a feeling this is just going to spawn in skeletons and the only way to remedy that is going to be taking that spawner to the nether and setting it up there which is a very good possibility that we'll do so either that or we have to stick in an MFR spawner which I can do right in the very top let's see what happens Should probably have, uh, yeah, those are really regular skeletons. That's what I figured. All right, let's grab what I need. Yeah, this is not going to work. Turn the grinders on, kill you guys. Let me grab what I need and we'll set up an MFR spawner. Bye guys. Say goodbye. Well, at least we got some essence out of it. And some things we didn't need. So it turns out, unfortunately, it must be in the floor. Which means I have to put it down here. That's okay. I just gotta find... here we go. Now, I don't know if I have enough of everything here. We're going to find out. So we're going to need power coming over. So I have seven going in. Uh, you don't have anything in there yet. It's trying to run, but... Oh, yeah, I'm going to have... I need seven, and I need six of each. One short. More conduits. Oops. One, two, three. Two, three. Quick make that up. Um, how do I make the fluid conduits again?
fuse quartz. I should have some. Well, I guess we weren't going to make the alloys without taking that out. We will get to the wheeler, I promise. If this has to be an extra long episode, I guess I'll have to do it that way. But basically, I'm going to have to go and grab a wither skeleton. Yep, I got enough. Oop. Got to aim for this. Just do it that way. Uh, we want this to be in insert mode. We want this to be on cyan. Uh, we're going to need one more lever. You can go back in there. I'm trying to do a little more building on camera for you guys. So this will be for the MFR spawner right here. Do like this. I need my wrench. And this is west. We want it to be cyan, strong color. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. I turned it on. Laboratory blocks. Lever. Now this should work. So right now it is running. If I do that. Okay, it stops. Perfect. I got some patching up to do. But we first of all we need we need you. Cause we need to get ourselves Um, we need a safari net. Actually, I have a safari net, don't I? Yep. With a wither skeleton in it. So we need to spawn it with this guy. I'm trying to think of where all of my tesseracts are. Oh, I have a tesseract over there, don't I? Let me go grab the tesseract and I'll meet you guys in the nether and we'll see if we can get this to work. Alright guys, we are here. This could get a little dangerous so we're gonna see how well this works so we're still connected to main power if I do this um, ideally I grab a wither skeleton if it spawns it no why can I not grab you oh god okay this did not work And you are incoming. And it's going to keep spawning them. Oh, it says it's got one in it. Um, I need to uh, get rid of you. Get rid of you. I need to grab that spawner. Uh, apparently it ran out of power. So it says it's got a skeleton in it. Alright, let's head back. This may have worked. For some reason it it's supposed to take them inside of the safari net, not let them keep running around. <laughs> that was almost really dangerous. Are you going to come with me? I think he came through. Yep, he did. Well, let's see if this works. Hmm. Oh, I gotta switch one more conduit up above. 
uh, because we're not getting essence inside of the spawner. So it would be this guy right here. Um, I want him to be auto extracting. Or can I tell him? So why won't it uh, input into here? Yeah, insert mode. Well, we want exact copy. Oh, because this is not. Um, do I got to do that? I think it can only output from the bottom. This tank gets to be tricky. This one disabled and that one connected. Okay, now we're full. Perfect. We may just have to have the wrench here to, uh, to pop that back and forth. Um, so let's see what happens. I just want to close this off for now. And let's flip this guy, see what happens. It's got a little bit of a cooldown, and then it should spawn in. Do we get a wither skeleton? Please let this work. It should work. Should work. Wither skeleton, yes. Perfect. If I flip you on, flip the grinders on. I think you can put speed upgrades in, so we may want to try and put a speed upgrade in and see what happens. It's another one. I would think we'd start getting wither skulls at some point here. Get a bone. Uh, no, I want to do this from the bottom. Now we should be able to see. Yeah, this is what I like to be able to see it. How it uses essence to spawn them in. And how we're going to start running out of essence. That's why I need the other spawners to run. Because we're using up too much to get a perfect copy here. Could convert that over to essence too. So I'm going to flip this off for now. Not get any skulls yet. But we definitely need to do something here. So I guess I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of slime and uh, build up a whole bunch and see if I can get some skulls. And then we can take on a wither. Should be ready then. I see them on my map. Well, there's three of them here. Got him. Trying to wipe these guys out. Not gonna complain about two of them. Uh, let's just say I'm making an Enderman spawner here uh, at home, finishing out my uh, spawner room. That sounds like a fishing zombie. I'm gonna run. Well, there we go, guys. Four spawners. But I think I have a problem. I think something's bugged. Um, 
This is a lot, a lot of spawning. Um, as this tank fills up, I turn on the MFR spawner, get wither skeletons. I've killed so many wither skeletons. And I know um, technically it's a 2.5% uh, chance of getting a wither skeleton skull. So that means every you should get two and a half skulls per 100 wither skeletons. I've killed probably about two to three hundred, gotten none. Um, I think there's a bug. So I think it's time. And and I've been looking it up, and there is bugs possibly with Ender IO, and I just updated to the latest version. Maybe I have the wrong. Um, the wrong type of wither skeleton in the spawner. I don't know, but something is going on. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, and you can call this cheaty if you want, but I'm going to create a crafting recipe uh, for um, wither skeleton skulls. But don't worry, I'm going to make it pricey. Okay? First up, I would need a Fluex Pearl. Uh, as far as recipe, it's an Ender Pearl, which I thought is, is fair enough, plus a lot of Fluex, which is not the cheapest to get. Um, necrotic Bone, once it updates here. Which you can only get from um, killing Wither Skeletons. So you do have to keep killing them, and they're they're a rare drop. So, and then I want to grab a diamond. Actually, to make it even more expensive, we can make it a block of mana diamond. I like that actually. Is there anything else I wanted to put in there? Oh yeah, gold. Okay, so let's start up the uh, Mind Tweaker Recipe Maker. Well, I'm gonna turn off uh, turn off that. It's gonna be a mirrored recipe. So the idea is is you're gonna have two necrotic bones. You're gonna have a mana diamond block, fluex pearls. and two blocks of gold and that equals um, I probably should have grabbed the skull a wither skull and that should have done it so now if I look this up if I go under oh wait no <laughs> no, we're not grabbing 64. Um, mind tweaker, and I'm doing this so that you guys can see this. That I'm okay. So now, if I do recipe, yep. Okay, so there's a recipe for it. Cool. Uh, now I have to get rid of this. That, 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 and that. Perfect. So if you guys want to call me cheaty, you can, but I'm getting around a bug because I've killed way too many wither skeletons and not gotten a single skull. Something is going on. So I think it's fair. So I'm going to need six of those. I'm going to grab some ender pearls out of here. There's so much stuff in here. This, uh, this enchanted stuff will help us though in the future. Uh, we can use that, so I'm not complaining about that. I'm gonna need, oh boy. So I need 27 diamonds to do that. That's most of my diamonds. All for a wither. I need six of those. And then the Fluex crystals. Which are even more ex oh. Why did I do this to myself? 
Flurex pearls. Yeah, I can't get very far. It's going to take me some time to craft this up, so uh, I'm going to meet you guys over there when I'm ready to spawn in the wither. Alright guys, let's do this. So this right here is what I'm considering my wither room. So I have this worked out for a 3x3. Three three. You know, I have not checked if I can break this with a pick. I wonder if I should test that. So the idea would be is that I can place him in here, close him in, and then he's stuck in here and I just shoot him through the opening. Um, let me just test this. Yeah, it says it's harvestable. Okay. By the way, these things are so expensive. Um, it cost me 36 Certus Quartz. Basically, every it is everything I had. So um, I have upgraded my bow a little bit. Um, faster draw speed. It was 2.15. Now it's 1.45. I put redstone on it. I put more on. Uh, I put quartz on my arrows. So I'm up to 34 hearts of damage. And my broadsword's up to nine hearts of damage because I put more quartz on it. So I used up a bunch of my quartz. So <sighs> let's do this. Should be able to close them in. I'm going to step back. I don't know if he can get me in here. Shield's gone. That's got to be the easiest wither fight I have ever done. This wither uh, box here that I made? Ingenious. Oh, he did do some damage. That doesn't surprise me, actually. I was wondering afterwards if, uh, if he would do damage to the blocks around it when he exploded in. Ah, we got our division sigil, which I needed. Um, we got another star, which I can find a use for. Ooh, I am so happy. I think I can almost one-shot one of these guys. Almost. So I need one more, uh, one more thing of quartz. So close. Well, yeah, because it's nine hearts. I need ten hearts of damage to one-shot a creeper. That'll be nice. Uh, but with that, guys, um, we are one step closer. That should be everything we need now uh, to build our quarry. So I would say uh, next episode, we have to hmm, we have to activate the Division Sigil. Remember how that went last time? Um, hopefully we're a little bit smarter with how we do it this time. Um, and then I think it's just a, last, or a matter of making sure everything is ready to go. And uh, we should be able to make our quarry. We'll head to the deep dark. Um, I don't know if we're going to get the quarry set up next time. Because like I said, there's other things we need to do. Um, I'll probably start the next episode basically ready to activate this guy. So I'll just step us through it again. But with that, guys. Oh, I probably should have left one of these over there like in a chest or something another star yes so that guys thanks for watching and as always take it easy